for 2024, the methods have been almost the same. There's been some slight tweaks to downloading the Google Play Store. And just to show you that this one is in fact working here properly for me, it's on the Fire Max 11 13th gen, but this should work for most of the Amazon Fire tablets, um, at least from all the ones that I've downloaded. So first and foremost, you're gonna go on to settings, go to security and privacy, make sure you have apps from unknown sources enabled. So click here and then gonna go into whatever browser you use. Usually it's gonna be the Silk browser by default. And then make sure that this is turned on. Uh, allow apps from, allow from this source. So now we can go into this how to geek article. And yes, this is the one that, that I used years ago. Um, if you've seen that in the past, uh, this article has been updated for current times and everything. Cause there is some slight tweaks that we'll go over for 2024. Um, but if this is your first time seeing it, um, there's basically just four downloads we have to go through. And just a quick warning that they show here is you got to remove the micro SD card uh, from the tablet. If you do have one installed, remove it. If you don't do it, then you could lose data during the process. So just uh, watch out for that. Um, so now first and foremost, and then for the new ones, you're going to want to make sure you uh, give them access. That's uh, probably one of the newest things. Uh, after you download this. So, you know, going back to it though, we're gonna download four things here, and this is all in order as you scroll down. Um, this article is very useful. So first and foremost, you're gonna download Google Account Manager. You know, go in here. I'll just open the tab really quickly. Just to show you, you go in here, and then make sure you only download from the red download APK here. If you download from anything else, that some of them do look like they have, they're a download button, but really it's an ad like up here or even in the middle here. And it's it's pretty scummy how how they make it look like a download file, even though it's not. So download this, um, and then you're gonna have it downloaded probably in the downloads folder. It can be wherever really, but the downloads folder is gonna be the easiest one, the one that you can remember. So download this, and then next one would be the Google services framework. The only thing to watch out for this is that you may, some people may have a problem parsing the package, which I'll talk about more in just a moment. And if you do have a problem where you download this and then it says there is an error parsing the package when you go to install it, you're just gonna download an older version down here, scroll down and download one of the older versions here. Then there's Google Play services, that should be pretty straightforward. And then finally, there is the Play Store. And now this one has only one thing to install from or one link. It's like a universal link right here. And with this one, it's uh, the download is gonna be in blue. Uh, so it's a little different. And you're gonna wanna make sure you only download one that says APK, not the bundle. Because if you download the bundle, you're not gonna be able to install it. So you have to download the latest one that says APK. So like this one right here. And then I'm uh, gonna click it one more time just to get through. Look at all these ads. That's probably the only annoying thing about this. But hey, it's nice to have this. Don't have to use any PC or laptop to install it. There is a way, by the way, to install it with a laptop and that's arguably easier. And I'll try to have a separate video on that. But anyways, going back to it here, uh, you can download the APK version here. Um, and then once those are all downloaded, go into files, uh, click the wrong button there or wrong app. So files, go into downloads and you're gonna have these four to download here. But wait just a second, you have to download these in order. So on the left is the order. You're gonna to wanna to download the one that says GSF login. Um, so that's the one on the bottom here for me. Then it's GSF, GMS, and then vending. So you're gonna click through these and install all of these. Click continue, install, and then just click done. Don't open anything. And then once you download all four of these, you are gonna see the uh, Play Store down here, but don't click on it just yet because it could cause some breakage uh, from what I believe, or it might not work initially. So you're gonna hold the power button, uh, click power off or restart really quickly. And then once you've restarted the tablet or your tablet, then you're ready to go here. Um, this should be working essentially. You can download whatever you want to. Um, I've got Genshin Impact here <laughs> already installed. And one call out or one warning, um, it even mentions on here is that uh, make sure you don't update anything. It says here, if you go all the way on the bottom, uh, it's possible that future OS updates may break the functionality of the Play Store. So just make sure that you don't update. Well, I mean, yeah, you can't really do too much if you're gonna be updating the Fire OS. Um, hopefully they'll have an update by then. Uh, but at the same time, I did hear that the next OS version or Fire OS is that they're actually revamping the whole thing and they're gonna have their own software. 
supposedly. That's one reason why we haven't seen a Fire tablet just yet. And if that's the case, I'm not sure if it's called Vega or whatever, and it's not even going to be running on Android. If that's the case, then I think we can say goodbye to the Google Play Store, which would be kind of unfortunate. Um, because without the Google Play Store, this is not worth it at all, honestly. I mean, the App Store just sucks. There's not enough support. I mean, heck, even the YouTube app is just video for YouTube. It's like a web browser version. It's not even that user-friendly compared to this one right here. This one is amazing. It's very easy to understand and go through. So, yeah, no problems whatsoever. And I like that. So... And by the way, if you're having trouble with the Google Play Store, there is this to mention where you got to go, um, like if you open this up and it keeps closing, there are a few things you can do. I do have a separate video for that. And I'll actually, I'll actually just try to make a playlist because there's a lot of clips or videos I have of the Play Store and troubleshooting some things. I also do have a, a website where you can ask me questions. I'll have a link down below for it if you have any questions. So you're going to hold on to the Google Play Store. Um, let me just do that one more time. So hold on to the Play Store. Click on App Info here, and then once you're in there, um, I don't know if you should, you should force stop. That did cause me problems sometimes, but for, for the time being, you could just make sure this is closed by sliding it upwards, uh, and then going back here, we can go into Data Usage. Nope, you can't down uninstall it from there. I can't do anything there. You're going to go into Storage and Cache. Uh, click on here, then you can clear the storage, clear cache. Um, even try to restart the Google Play Store, and that should hopefully work. This worked for many people, um, but the only problem that others had was there was a problem parsing the package from the older version. So now that should be resolved with the steps that you've taken, if you've taken the proper steps here. So let me know what you guys think. Again, it's not that hard. For downloads, just make sure you download um, in or, or install them in order and download it from the older versions if need to for like uh, two of them, which is the which I went through already, but I'm just going to go over it once more as a to repeat. Uh, so it wasn't Google Account Manager. It was Google Services Framework. framework. If um, you get a, an error when you're in files where it says there was an error parsing the package or something, then yeah, just go ahead and, and do that. So other than that, um, just go ahead and install an older one. So anyways, guys, I, guys, I can't even talk right now. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Leave a like down below and subscribe for more and stay tuned because... We do have uh, more videos on this coming out for the Amazon Fire tablet, the new Fire tablets, as well as any updates to the download in the Google Play Store. I mean, hopefully it shouldn't be hard. And again, I'll try to go over the other way, which is arguably even more simple, which is if you do have a PC or a laptop, you can just install something on there, the Fire Toolbox, and then you can essentially load it on here. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching.